if you're going down a path that is one really involving creativity in your subject area, be prepared for early uh, criticism, for early um, uh, detractors who will, uh, naysayers who, who will call into question what you were, are doing. And so we experienced that, and uh, so did my co-laureate, uh, Jean-Pierre Sauvage. Uh, you know, the community would ask, and I'm thinking now about the 1980s, uh, why would these people, you know, want to do this crazy stuff? What would these uh, uh, molecules be useful for if they could make them? Um, and so I always say to uh, people starting out in a scientific career, a good litmus test, a good indicator that you're onto something that uh, is creative is to hear uh, some criticism. And sometimes it can be quite, uh, uh, well, I say, um, it, it can be very, quite hurtful. And I would even say that uh, I went through this phase when it, it was hurtful. And what I found by the 1990s when I was at the University of Birmingham was that, and this was a subtlety, the criticism was taken away from me and put onto my students. So if a student, and I think of an example, I remember him coming back and saying two or three of the senior professors just were very dismissive of my poster. They just passed it by and made some uh, very, very um, you know, unpleasant comments. And I, I, I thought that's a little bit unfair to uh, you know, turn the attack on the uh, work of the uh, group onto the, the young members of the group. But at the same time, it, uh, I think, uh, was an early experience for them to find out that uh, being creative is not something that uh, is easy, that uh, is going to impinge on everybody in the team. And uh, it certainly did.